He came from another dimension, from a different universe beyond infinity, and he fell to Earth with a bump into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Ask Rita King, whose world is turned upside down when Angelo comes to stay. Watch the show. It's Mike and Angelo. <laughs> Thanks again for taking us, Rita. Oh, my pleasure. Any excuse for a visit to the National Gallery is good enough for me. It was great. Some of those old paintings. Oh, well, I thought it was about time you and Angelo took in a bit of culture. You can get so much out of a visit like that. Yeah, well, Angelo certainly did. <laughs> oh, fantastic day out with the Simply smashing. Oh, brother. Educating Angelo and the finer niceties of great art is going to take a bit longer than I thought. Coke Ellie? Oh, yes, please. Rita, Rita. Look at this beautiful tea towel. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, it's got a picture of Andy and Fergie on it. Isn't it just marvellous the way the eyes follow you around the room? Oh, this is a real work of art, this. No, Angelo, that is a cheap souvenir tea towel, not a real work of art. This is a real work of art. Oh, we saw that picture in the gallery, didn't we, Angelo? Do you remember? It's by Van Gogh and it's called Sunflowers. Um, I think it's when you were outside feeding potato chips to the pigeons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you only miss seeing one of the greatest paintings in the world. Do you know if you wanted to buy this painting today, it would cost you 24 million pounds? Uh, what? Yeah, when Van Gogh was alive, he couldn't sell any of his paintings. Well, at that price, I'm not surprised. Whoa. No, I mean... <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, it's my very favorite painting. Oh! I'll get it. Hey, it's the twenty-second tomorrow. Oh yeah. Well, you know what that means, don't you? Aha! Of course. There's only three hundred and fourteen shopping days left to Christmas. No, you fool! It's Rita's birthday. You're right. I'll have to get her a present. Hmm. I know. I'll give her this tea towel. She did like it, didn't she? Oh, she hated it. Mm. We'll have to get to something else. Yeah. What? I don't know. Something she really likes. Ah, yes. Something she really likes. We're a long tail back from Junction 33, and the N25 has become a free parking zone. Motorists are advised to avoid it. So, on this beautiful Ellie, sunset... Ellie! You're not going to believe this! We only saw it yesterday, and now it's gone. Sunflowers? Stolen? What kind of a crazy nut would do a thing like that? Every police force in Europe is going to be looking for the guy. Oh, don't worry. It will probably turn up somewhere safe and sound. Oh, well, I hope you're right. Rita, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and give you these. Oh, they are beautiful. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. You know, Mr. Pinner has some just like this in his garden. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little recitititititititation. <laughs> as sweet as a margarita, as thin as a parking meter, as warm as a gas-powered heater. And your name, of course, is Mrs. King. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So now, on this auspicious day, this rhyme I dedicate to Rita King, our birthday girl. Today you're 38. Uh, 34, Angelo. Today I'm 34. Happy birthday! <laughs> this is such a surprise! <laughs> Whatever can it be? I can't wait to see your face when you find out. <gasps> <laughs> I knew she'd be pleased. <laughs> did what you suggested. Got her something she really liked. Boy, you really went to town this time, Angelo. Yep, I got the bus up to Trafalgar Square, then oh, I walked up the street. What are you going to do with it? Oh, put it up on the wall in the sitting room. Hang on, I'll go and get the hammer and nails. Oh, I don't believe this is happening. And on my birthday, I'm too young to go to jail. No nails, but don't worry, I'll pop along to the DIY store. Back before you can say, Vincent Van Gogh.
<laughs> oh, what are you going to do with it? You can't let him hang it up in the sitting room. No, you're right. It would clash with the curtains. <gasps> oh, what am I saying? I'm clutching a 24 million pound stolen painting. Any minute the police are going to be banging on the door. <laughs> Quick. Quick, get rid of it. Well, what should I? Just hide it. Don't say a word. You want to get it out of here. Cover it up. About same in time. Ah, oh, Mr. Painting. Oh, the no, no inner, inner. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You feeling all right? Me? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I've just got a Van Gogh. Oh, bad. Oh, bad They should bring back the stocks, that's what I say. And what's so wrong with flogging? Ah, uh, quite, yes. Uh, was there anything you wanted, Mr. Pinner? Oh, yes. My wife Mabel asked me to come and collect some jumble for her karate club annual bring and buy. Oh, the jumble. Yes, yes. Well, it, it's all ready for you. By the front door. Oh, why don't you just help yourself? Take what you like. Bye! <laughs> If he did, we're for the chop. What did he want, anyway? His wife asked him to come by and collect some jumble. Oh, why did he do it? Because oh, his wife would shout at him if he didn't. No, not Pinner Angelo. Why did he steal the wretched bait? Well, he did it for you. Because he loves you. Yes. He loves me so much, I'm going to spend my next 20 birthdays behind bars. No! <laughs> We'll take the painting secretly back to the gallery. What? Well, no one would know it was Angelo that took it. They'll have their painting back and everyone's happy. Good. Good. I like it. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, where's the painting? Oh, it's outside. Oh. Come on. Let go of my arm, woman. Have you gone stark raving mad? Sorry, Mr. Pinner. I just need this back. But you said I could take it. Oh, yes. Everything. The lot, but not this. What are you playing at? Please, will it's you just... Get off! Ah! Ew! Ah! E ah! Oh, what? It can't be. It is. I saw this on the news. Um, it's that priceless picture that got nicked last night. Um, corn flowers by Van Gillis. <laughs> I, I can I can explain. I oh. bet you can, but you could do all your explaining to the judge, my Mr. dear. Mr. Pinner, you see, Angelo didn't really... Aha! Angelo, is it? I always had him down as a wrong one. You don't understand. Oh, I understand right enough. I've stumbled on a right dirty den of felons, haven't I? Mr. Pinner... And there's me thinking this is just a flaming nut house. Please listen. I've heard quite enough already. I'm going now to phone the police. Oh. Mr. Pinner, oh. you don't have to go all the way back to your house to make the phone call. Eh? No, you, you, you can use our phone. What? Well, it's a fair cop, Mr. Pinner. You caught us out right enough. We promised to come quietly. I'll show you where the telephone is. The quicker justice is done, the better, I reckon. Are you crazy? I'm glad to see you're taking it this way, Mrs. King. I'll put in a good word for you. Tell the officers that you didn't put up any resistance. This way. Hang about your phone. No, move it. Here. here now. Where Oh, goody. Now we can add kidnapping to the list. I had no choice. Now let's get this out of here before anything else happens. Rita, have you seen this? Uh, I'm making it the lead story in tomorrow's program. Oh, that's nice. You know all about art, Rita. I thought we could do some work on the program this afternoon. Uh, me? Know about art? Oh, no. No, 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 
no, I, I, I don't know my art from my elbow. <laughs> but besides, Mrs. Roper, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Rita. May I come in, please? We've plenty to do. Oh. <laughs> you go. What? Rita? Just go. Hi. Oh, thanks. Got the nails. Just need the hammer. Rita! Coming, coming! <laughs> Okay, Rita. <sighs> Mrs. Roper, couldn't we do this tomorrow? I, I, I could come in early. No, no, no. Let's tackle it now. Strike while the iron's hot, or should I say, while the painting's hot? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we'll have to wait, Angelo. Oh well, not to worry. Ah. Is something the matter? Um, no, no, just a fly. Fly, 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 la 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 la. Angelo, go, go, yeah, go, go. Angelo, no, no, no. Oh, for pity's sake, can we just do some work, please? Work. Yeah, sure. Work. <laughs> now then, I thought we'd lead with a bit about the history of the painting. He began it, of course, in August of 1888. They wouldn't have kept Cyril Pinner in Kovitz and they're not going to keep him here. Ah. 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 <laughs> And the beauty of pure colours and their harmonious blending has never been surpassed. Not here. Are you getting all this? Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Many of his other paintings have an exactitude and probability which exceed those of nature. But in this painting, the sensual reaction of the artist is supreme. It is a confession of a man for whom yellow is not just the colour of the sun, but a symbol of warmth and light. There's a breathtaking grandeur. A feeling for tangibility. Oh. What are you doing? Hello, just uh... There must be somewhere a bit more private and a bit less noisy where we can work. How about the garden? Oh, that's fine, Mrs. Roper, that's fine. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, in here will do much better. Now then, where were we? Up to our necks in it. Ah, oh, yes. Now then, when Van Gogh writes, how beautiful is yellow? Go! <laughs> Flaming, typical. Ooh. Ah! Ah! So one could say that Sunflowers rises above the significance of ordinary still life to give the effect of a stained glass window. What is that? Uh, what? Oh, that! That! Oh, um, uh, builders next door. You're detached. Uh, divorced, actually. <laughs> the noise is excruciating. Well, let's turn on the radio, then we won't have to listen to it. Further bulletins will be given later. <gasps> now, you were saying, now, Mrs. Roper? Latest offerings from Riff Raff. Uh, no, I've got a much better place, Angela. Oh, yeah? What's that? In here! Oh. Go. This is ridiculous. I can't hear myself think. There must be somewhere we can work. The sitting room. That's lovely and quiet. Now, please let me see. Ah, uh, 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 Mr. Pinner, are you all right? Wait till I get out of here, Rita King. You just wait to. No, no good at all. Not enough light. Ah, wait a minute. Now, let me see. La, 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 la. <laughs> that 
will do. Just perfect. Angela? Oh, Angela, you're crazy. Don't you understand? You can't hang it there. What, you think it'd be better in the hall? No, I think it'd be better if you'd never done it. Hey? Then you realise what trouble you've caused. <gasps> You don't want to go to prison, do you? Prison? Yes, prison. <laughs> but it's not against the law, is it? Oh, get real, Angelo. Oh. Of course it's against the law. Oh. Well, there's only one thing I can do. Ah, oh, there it is. Now then, as I was saying, sunflowers is... <laughs> hanging on your basement door. There's, uh, there's really a, a very perfectly simple explanation, Mrs. Roper. Nobody can hold the Hoxton Houdini. You imbecile. What? You sacrilegious little philistine. I am here. Steady on, madam. You have mutilated one of the world's greatest works of art. Are you blabbering on about? Now, so you realise that something is genius when there's someone who's a bargain? And you, you little <laughs> Oh, that's better. Earlier this morning, the stolen sunflowers painting was recovered from a warehouse in South London and is now safely back at the National Gallery. The thief, Mr. George Madab, was apprehended as he tried to escape down the drainpipe. If that was... Pleasant. No more painting for me. Whew. I never dreamed it would cause this much trouble. Sheesh. Oh, hello, Mr. Pinner. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that you painted this sunflower's picture? Yes. Not one of my best. So you didn't steal it after all? Steal it? Oh, no, 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 no. That's against the law. Isn't it, Mr Pinner? <laughs> here, get me out of here. Oh, of course. Here, you two pull. I'll push. Shame I can't do any more painting. I was really getting into it. <laughs> Angelo, you do as much painting as you <laughs> like. Carry on, Darby, old buddy. Really? Really? Oh! oh. One of these days, you madman! Mark my words if I don't. Oh. <sighs> Brilliant. Now, which great masterpiece shall I tackle next? Sorry about everything, Mrs. Grover. Oh, thank you, Rita. <laughs> Completely exhausted. I've got no lead story for tomorrow's program. Well, I'm off. I'll see you at work tomorrow, Rita. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh. Sheesh. Do I ever need a cup of coffee? La dee dee la dee dee dee. Ellie, go see what Angela's up to. La dee dee da dee dee da dum. La dee 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 dee. La dee 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 dee. Quick, come quick. La 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 la. What now, Angelo? La dee dee da dee dee dee. It's not an Angelo, Rita. It's my Angelo. La dee dee da dee dee dee. La dee dee da dee dee dee. La dee 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 dee. Not bad, Rita, eh? Not bad. Show. You know something? <laughs> you could use your nostril hairs plugged in all, pal. <laughs> oh, it's getting very intellectual, isn't it, children's ITV? What with the uh, 
Sistine Chapel there, which was actually painted by Michelangelo, I think, which is almost Michelangelo. And tomorrow we've got Victor and Hugo, which I don't think was written by Victor Hugo, who uh, wrote Le Miserable, but it's jolly, jolly fun.